What's up guys? Welcome back to part two of the Junior Gold series. This is Daniel, back with Jared here. Uh, be sure to check out part one if you didn't, came out last week. Um, so, let's talk about long patterns today. So, today we bowled on the 50 foot Junior Gold 2019 shot from Thunderbolt. So, I'll start with Jared. What did you think about today? Um, I definitely know that I don't like long patterns. <laughs> Probably one of my weaknesses. Um, Which is interesting with his rev rate, too. Yeah. I noticed that. I, uh, yeah. I learned that on this pattern, you don't want to play left and trap it. Yeah. It's not the way to go yeah. unless you're like extremely accurate with going mm -hmm. like two boards every shot. It's crazy. Yeah, that's definitely an interesting characteristic of this pattern because as you see a couple shots that we have, we got way left and tried to fade the ball to the pocket. And it was so difficult to keep it so square in front of us because there was absolutely no hook. Because if you look at the pattern, all the, of the majority of the oil is centered in the exact middle. And it's very hard to play that. But once you get to the extreme outside, it really helps. Especially with the lane surface there in Michigan, which was really early rolling lane surface and very high friction. So what balls did you throw today on the long pattern? Um, I threw a pin down instigator, a prism hybrid, and then a Brunswick U-Motion. So I really liked the look that he had with the Prism Hybrid um, and a little bit with the Instigator too. Um, I don't really agree with the look that he had with the U-Motion. Um, I don't know exactly what led to it, but a couple of us uh, in practice today were able to throw urethane on this pattern. And I don't really understand why, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but I definitely love the look that he had with the Prism Hybrid and the Instigator playing up the right side which is where the cliff kind of is for this pattern, hitting like that one two board uh, is very effective for the pattern. Um, so kind of elaborate on that, I guess. Like, what do you like about doing that? Well, for me, I don't normally play that far right, That's right. Yeah. ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> normally like left or 20, but <laughs> yeah. um, I found out that you, you have to trust yourself and you have to get it to the friction, which is literally the one two board. Absolutely. Which is, kind of tough for me to do to trust myself mm -hmm. to get it out there but when I did I found out that it had that early friction and then just rolled to the pocket which was pretty nice absolutely yeah and that's something that Junior Gold is really good at doing it's really good at bringing people outside of their comfort zones you know and that's why it's so hard and it's such a grind because a lot of bowlers that bowl Junior Gold especially for the first time aren't used to that and that's something I can attest to whenever I bowled in uh, Cleveland for the first year that I did it I know you've bowled tournaments like that in the past where it just yeah. it brings you straight out of your comfort zone and uh, you're just not used to it, you know? Um, and so as far as what I threw, uh, I really liked the look that I had with my Brunswick Phantom. Um, it was a really solid look. Um, it's very similar to what I did in Junior Gold last year on this exact pattern. Uh, I took my Symmetric Solid, which was pinned down as well, um, which my Phantom is. Uh, back then it was my Triton Elite. And I had 500 on it um, just because that's what looked good um, back at uh, Thunder Bowl in Michigan. Uh, here, though, I actually tried a couple different surfaces, and uh, 1,000 looked the best for my Phantom. And I had 500 on my pinup tactics, but it definitely was a little bit too much bite. Um, definitely rolled a little too early, as I saw whenever I got to the friction on the pattern way outside. It just really grabbed and wanted to go way too much. Um, and then anything shiny on this pattern was kind of interesting because, uh, like we said, you can't really get that far left, and so even trapping it, especially with something shiny, just causes it to just roll and roll and roll even more and just skid and never want to grab the lane where any friction is at all. Um, as you can see, like I throw a couple shots, and I know Jared had some too that just skid completely whenever we try to get way left, and it's very difficult for us on this pattern. Uh, so then that brings back one other point that was brought up in the last video of you always want to try and find that friction. The friction spot is key at Junior Gold on any of the patterns or really any hard pattern because if you uh, notice that playing super far left like that, even on a long pattern, is doing absolutely nothing but minimizing your miss room, then you want to find the friction and see if that, that gutter is playable, especially with the lane surface because that changes a lot at Junior Gold with all the different bowling alleys. Um, so then, do you have any tips for people that would want to attack this pattern? Don't use your thing. <laughs> That's just, yes. it's, you have to be way too accurate with it. Mm -hmm. um, reactive revving is definitely 
you'll have a little more miss room. You still need to be accurate because it's a 50 foot pattern. Yes. But yep. as you see in the video, if I tried to move left with the urethane and it took like three off the right. Mm -hmm. So you have to stay right. You have to hit that one board in order for it to hit the friction and to have a chance of hitting the pocket. Absolutely, yes. And always gotta remember too, a junior gold, getting nine on your first shot is a good thing. Because then you can spare it, you wanna leave makeable spares. Uh, junior gold is not about shooting 240 every game, that's for sure. Um, you know, throwback to last year, I averaged like 170 the first eight games, and then averaged about like 215 the last uh, eight games. And it was super helpful and put me in a great spot just because I was able to rebound after those two uh, days of just straight grinding and then able to take advantage of the easier pattern. And then this pattern actually was my best day um, whenever we bowled on the 50-foot shot at Thunder Bowl and I went plus 98. Uh, it was my, my best day and I, it was great uh, for my third day. And so um, as far as attacking this pattern though, uh, definitely or any long pattern for Junior Gold as well in the future, you definitely want to keep your angles straight um, not give away the pocket like Jared was talking about and find that friction uh, in the best spot possible whether it's on the gutter or it, uh, this coming year the long pattern could play inside um, we really never know and it's all about finding that friction and what gets you to the pocket most consistently um, generally as a long pattern breaks down though uh, although this is kind of drastic um, different long patterns especially as we see in college uh, what we'll do is grab something shiny and we'll want to throw it into the friction that's been burnt there um, at Junior Gold, there's not a lot of games going on, so it's hard for that friction to develop sometimes, especially because you have a lot of kids playing a lot of different areas of the lane, uh, which is to be expected. And so it doesn't always happen like that, and that's more of a college thing for us, where we get left with something shiny and just kind of throw it into the friction. Um, so paying attention to the moves, and uh, especially at Junior Gold, not making huge moves are very important. You always want to make small moves, and you want to have your arsenal built so that you can go from one ball to the next with confidence knowing that it's going to at least get you to pocket whenever you need a ball change. Be sure to tune in next week um, whenever we go over asymmetric versus symmetric bowling balls and uh, be sure to subscribe below, leave a comment and a like and see you next time. Peace out.